All right, so uh, it's been a little bit since we did the vlog because uh, we can't show any uh, NCAA stuff. Right. But a little recap, Gonzaga beat, a T uh, beat TCU in that uh, second round matchup. Really cool, cool environment, close game. Um, and that means the Zags are heading to Slots, Slots Vegas. I was gonna say Sin City. Whatever you want to call it. It should be good for the West Regional. They're taking on UCLA on Thursday. Alex Presenti here, Julian Minnesota. We're gonna have some behind the scenes stuff. Um, for the KXLY Plus YouTube as well. Um, first thoughts? Well, I mean, Vegas is basically a home away from home for Gonzaga. I mean, how many times have they played regular season games, postseason games there? Um, so they should be pretty comfortable with flying in and out of there, you know, whatever hotels they may use. Uh, they, they've played in T-Mobile before. I don't know how much experience that helps them. Um, I think they played UCLA in there last year, beat it by 20. Um, so this should be a pretty good matchup there. And then if they do get there, they'll be waiting the winner of UConn in Arkansas, which that could be a potential rematch of last year's uh, Sweet 16, uh, but in the Elite Eight. Um, so, but uh, yeah, it should be a pretty fun weekend. Yeah, um, it's a one point spread right now in favor of UCLA, which basically doesn't mean anything. Um, also, both teams top 10 in Ken Palm this year. Um, UCLA top 10 in defense, Gonzaga number one in offense. So something's got to give on Thursday, and we'll have all the coverage here uh, on KXOY. Right now we're on the flight. Uh, our Vegas flight out of Sacramento is delayed. So um, we'll, guys, we'll keep you guys updated as the day goes on. See ya. All right. So we are delayed at the Sacramento airport. The I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. There are better airports to get delayed at, I think. Probably. Yeah, you're probably right. Orlando has an Outback Steakhouse, I think. Or Chili's. It's Chili's. a good or a bad thing, depending on who you are, how you look at it. It's true. Um, yeah, we're waiting for our planes here. Southwest. And then we'll be off to Classic Vegas. Southwest. Yeah. You would think that uh, that whole Christmas fiasco would... They'd be able to get it done, but... <laughs> No, no. Mark View would not like the execution. <laughs> no. Um, well, Zags get to fly charter on their plane, so they don't have to worry about this. They'll probably they'll probably beat us to Vegas today. I would say. Yeah, they'll have, probably have a, a good practice uh, this morning or early afternoon, and then head out there. But they won't have to deal with uh, layovers in Sacramento. Out of all the days we get to travel down south to California slash Nevada. Today is the day that it's raining, wet, and wi wind advisories. So just our luck. But that's why we're traveling a day ahead so we can make practice tomorrow for the Zags. So we'll see. We have arrived in Las Vegas. In the New York, New York, it's the Media Hotel. How are you feeling? I, I, I immediately walked in and I felt shame for some reason. I didn't do anything wrong, but I just felt, ugh. <laughs> Hopefully uh, that's not a bad omen for the Zags. No. Hopefully they don't leave Las Vegas with shame as have many others, right. uh, non-basketball players. <laughs> yeah, many that before came them. <laughs> yeah. Came them However that saying goes. Yeah. But yeah, we're uh, getting ready to check into the hotel and uh, yeah, we, uh, we're a little delayed, but everything is good. We're gonna do a little bit of work tonight and then wake up bright and early as uh, we got Zags practice tomorrow. Supposed to hear from the guys, Drew Timmy, Vegas born Julian Strother, Mark Few about uh, getting ready for UCLA. And we'll see if the Zags can uh, be cutting down the nets here in Las Vegas and uh, head to Houston. So we'll have some more coverage throughout the week. So stay tuned. All right, we're getting the camera set. We are finally here in Las Vegas, as I mentioned in the check in line. But now you can see T Mobile Arena. There it says, Road to the Final Four. This is where Gonzaga and UCLA will be playing on Thursday for a spot in the Elite Eight. We're just shooting some stand-ups here for the 11 o'clock show. Um, our coverage will start tonight and all the way through what at least we hope to be Saturday uh, into Sunday. That's right, yeah. Um, they'll have a good chance. I mean, like I said, this is this UCLA team, they've had some epic encounters in the past in the tournament. You know, the Adam Morrison crying game. Sorry, Adam. Um, Heartbreak and, City. And then the 2021 Final Four, of course. But you got to remember that these two teams played last season. Gonzaga beat them by 20 in this city. Actually, actually in this building. So maybe a little bit of revenge for those players for UCLA, but the squads are pretty different. But either way, it should be a fantastic matchup.
played 10 minutes getting two points, but it's safe to say he's going to get a lot more playing time on Thursday night. Alrighty, game day vlog. Finally, we are here. A little bit of history today for the first time ever. Las Vegas hosting a regional, the NCAA tournament. We're gonna have two of the story programs on the West Coast, UCLA and Gonzaga, duking it out later this evening. Yeah, it should be exciting. You know, we've been we're at practice yesterday. Zag seem loose, ready yep. to go. UCLA didn't show us anything, just shooting half court shots the entire time. They might, you know, after the way that it went down in the tournament last time, I'd say, yeah, might not hurt to practice. Yep. So, uh, yeah, all there is left to do is play. We'll see if the Zags can uh, get to an Elite Eight. Um, another Elite Eight. A lot of stuff happening. It would be four of six Elite Eights if they were to win. Which is incredible. Which is incredible when you consider the parody of college basketball these days. You consider that the turnover um, a lot of teams have retooling talent. Mark Few has been able to do it. You got to give him credit. Yeah, no, it's uh, one of the more impressive feats in all of basketball. I know we just we beat it like a dead horse. Uh, over that that is the saying. Yeah, that, yeah, I got it. Um, but listen, it's going to be a stiff test. I mean, this is not a cakewalk. This is going to be one of the more difficult tournaments. Zach is all you know going to have to navigate. That TCU matchup was no cakewalk. And this UCLA team, even though I think Gonzaga is going to win personally after what I saw, just the bodies and, and the Bruins dealing with maybe some injuries. But, you know, and then you win that, and then you got either Arkansas or UConn. This is, this is not easy to get out of this weekend. Right, right. And uh, I would say that the UCLA-Gonzaga matchup is probably the most anticipated of this round yes. uh, on all the regions. Yes. Um, just because of the, the history um, of the two schools, the tournament classics that they gave us, of course, the 2021 game, Jalen Suggs. You're not anticipating the Princeton matchup being <laughs> Come funny, on. funny. Uh, that's the championship game, my Ooh. friend. Um, but yeah, the 2021 matchup, of course, Jalen Suggs hit that half court buzzer beater. The Zags won. This is also the 17th anniversary, uh, 17th year anniversary to the day of Heartbreak City. Yeah. Uh, with Adam Morrison uh, on the floor in tears as UCLA ran off I think it was 11 straight points to win that game and end the Zag season then so this is this is a historic matchup that we've seen in the tournament before so that's what also makes it a classic of top of being two schools that are well known for their basketball so it's exciting it's a fun day. yeah We are here again outside T-Mobile Arena for the vlog. Oh, got some Bruins fans right there. Got Alex ready to go live outside T-Mobile. Pre-game live shots while we'll the five and six. Then the game, and then we'll give you a little post-game look. But this is what it kind of looks like here. Again, there's our setup as we showed you earlier in the tournament. And the man is ready to roll. So we're doing live shots here. Alex posting to social media. Forgot to do a post-game vlog the other day just because uh, uh, there was a lot happening. Uh, can you put into words, Alex, what we saw in that Sweet 16 game between the Zags and the Bruins? I think we saw everything because we initially the story was going to be Gonzaga gets blown out in the Sweet 16, UCLA finally gets them. And then it was the comeback. And then it was going to be Drew Timmy with an all-time performance. And then it was going to be UCLA with an all-time comeback again against this team. And then it ended with the Julian Strother shot. Just the amount of storylines, it's hard to rank which is the biggest, but that Strother shot right down 25 feet away was just incredible. Yeah, around there where you see the edge of the logo, that's kind of where he pulled up from. Uh, unbelievable. This is the quietest it's probably going to be all weekend. T-Mobile Arena, but an all-timer. Um, 
and it could be the biggest shot of Gonzaga's school's history depending on how they finish it out here they got UConn in the Elite Eight yeah I mean it's gonna be another good game if they can maybe just have a normal game in this tournament every single one of these matchups have been you got to sweat it out in the second half they've not had a comfortable win even the Grand Canyon game was a little eh, you know at a certain point so we'll, we'll see if they can do that it will be more of a bipartisan crowd if I had to expect UCLA dominated in the stands here yesterday but I would expect UConn and Gonzaga to have about the same number in their contingencies. So that should make for a fun atmosphere. We'll see if they can get to another Final Four. Three and six. That would make three and six years. Unbelievable.